Okay, welcome back to Hanging with the Hogs. Um, again, we're just so grateful that you guys are joining us every week. Um, we just want this, uh, this to be an opportunity for you guys to kind of see, take a peek into our program and meet some of the people that make our program so special. And so I'm super excited about who we have today. Um, we, are, we are talking with Jill Gill. Um, and uh, obviously you guys know who she is. She's kind of a big deal. Um, and so I'm excited to kind of get to know her um, and have her tell us a little bit about her story. So welcome, Jill, to Hanging with the Hogs. Thank you. It's Thank a big you. deal. <laughs> Can you see? I mean, we have yes, lights and yes. cameras and yeah. it's a big deal. Yeah. So, um, okay. So you obviously had an amazing first year, right? Like SEC freshman team. You, um, I, I, I did some research because I, obviously I wasn't here last year, but um, a little background on Jill, Gill, and I. Um, I'm from the Kansas City, Missouri area, as is Jill. And actually, I, I coached club against Jill. And so uh, I think me and Jill kind of looked across the net a couple times, a little feisty at each other because yeah, um, I, she was the go-to <laughs> hitter. And my team knew, you better stop her. So uh, we, uh, yeah, I wasn't sure when I took this job. I was like, I hope she still likes me. Yeah, <laughs> like I didn't like you because we played against <laughs> each other, but... Then you came here, and I was like, no, I really, like, when they said that you were going to get it, <laughs> okay. I was really excited. Okay, cool. So, God, we just that. because we were against each other. Yeah, just so, that yeah. shows how competitive yeah. you are. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, started all 30 matches last year, all of the sets, um, playing six rotations, not even just three. You led our team in kills, kills per set, service aces, total digs, points, total receptions. That's kind of a big deal, right? A lot, of, a lot of actions. And, and then end, ended up earning yourself an SEC all-freshman team. So um, clearly you've had a lot of success your freshman year, and, and, and I know you will continue to have that success. So I kind of want to backtrack a little bit because um, just getting to know you, I know your mom and dad both played college sports, right? Dad played at UMKC. Mom played at... She played at Moorhead State. Moorhead State yeah. in volleyball, right? Yeah. yeah. She was a setter. Okay, okay. And then both brothers played sports, correct? Yeah, my oldest brother played sports but didn't play sports um, throughout college. So in high school, he did basketball and cross-country track. And now he's in law school. And then my other brother played baseball at Swarthmore yeah. in Philly. And now he's using his last year of eligibility at Wagner. Okay. Yeah. Where's Wagner at? New York. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So obviously a sports family. What was growing up like? Like you're the, you know, youngest of two older brothers and you've got sporty parents. What did you guys just play a bunch of sports growing up or was it competitive? What was it like? Um, yeah, we played a bunch of sports. You know, we start out with soccer and then nobody ended up liking it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was the outdoor aspect of it. Um, but my dad, since he knew basketball, you know, I played basketball, um, elementary school, middle school. So he always knew like what to tell me in basketball. And then my mom kind of forced me to play volleyball. <laughs> I really didn't like volleyball at first. Um, so she knew what to tell me in that aspect. So my dad was always able to like communicate with my brothers really well through sports, mm -hmm. um, like baseball and basketball, not so much running, but you know. <laughs> so yeah, we did a lot of stuff. Um, we have a basketball goal at our house, so we would always play like pickup games, horse, pig, so. Okay. So at what point, you said you didn't like volleyball at first, at what point did you start liking this yeah, sport that you are so, now so successful at? Yeah, it's a really, interesting journey, if you will. <laughs> so I started playing basketball elementary school. I thought basketball is the love of my life. Like it's everything. I really was not good at basketball. Like, and I had no drive to get better yeah. at basketball. So um, I started playing volleyball. I did like rec league. And then in middle school, my mom was like, Oh, well, we're going to try club. I don't, I didn't know what club was. And I made the three team and I stayed on that three team throughout middle school and I played middle. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. So the first two years on that team, like I did not like volleyball. Um, I started as an outside and then they moved me to middle, but my eighth grade year was, I started 
like my team made us do this strength and conditioning type thing. Mm -hmm. And it started with all of us going together. And then as it filtered out, I was the only one left. Yeah. So I just kept going. Um, and I could tell, like I was making progress. Um, so like eighth grade year, I got good yeah. for yeah. the three team. <laughs> but, um, yeah. yeah, so I just kind of started to really like it then. And then going into high school, my mom said, you can't be middle anymore. If you want to keep playing volleyball, you can't be middle because nobody's going to take you 5'8 <laughs> middle. Like 5'8 outside, you think that's a stretch. 5'8 middle, that's, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so freshman year, I, yeah, yeah. Awesome. And have you always had the jumping ability? Clearly, you jump really well. Was that why you got stuck in the middle? <laughs> um, no. I, so they started me as outside, I played outside sixth grade, all sixth grade. And then seventh grade, like in the middle of seventh grade, they moved me to the middle. And they moved me to the middle because I would push over my middle to block. So they were like, okay, we'll just switch it around. So yeah, that's how that okay. happened. But jumping wise, yeah, that didn't happen until I started like actually working out and doing the conditioning and all that type of stuff. Like when I got there, they're like, oh yeah, you can jump. But then it really progressed. So because of strength and conditioning. Yes. Cool. Yes. That's awesome that you actually had to work out. I mean, I think that that's one of the things that makes you so special, Jill, is that I, I feel like just even in practice, I see how hard you work and how competitive you are. Like you are, you want to win every drill, every point, um, and you're just working so hard in your transitions and everything. And I think it, um, I mean, I think it shows in, in your stats and in your, in your success. So where do you feel like you got that competitiveness and that work ethic? Is it from both mom and dad? Is it from just growing up in a sports family? Yeah, so, I, again, it's interesting because, you know, when I played basketball, there was no drive whatsoever. Um, from you. From, from me from you. playing yeah. basketball, yeah. yeah. But that was also younger. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, definitely coming from mom and dad. My mom, like, I'll always say, like, I love both of my parents very much. They've helped me through everything. But my mom has just been with me through this volleyball journey. Mm -hmm. Um, and my dad, he, he's like learning more things about <laughs> volleyball every day, but, um, yeah, she has worked so hard in her life. You know, she kind of came from nothing and yeah. same with my dad. Um, and now they're very successful in their job and they work very hard. So it's just seeing that paying off for them. Mm. Like hard work will always pay off. Yeah. Like when is there a time that if you're working hard at something, it, it won't pay off. Like, yeah, you'll be frustrated, but ultimately you're learning. Yeah. So yeah, there's that. And then of course with my brothers, um, I don't know, two older brothers, <laughs> if you don't have a chip on your shoulder with two older <laughs> brothers, like, um, you're going to get beat up. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I always had a little chip on my shoulder with my brothers because throughout school it'd be like, Oh, you're Jane Jared's little sister. Oh, no, no, I'm me. I'm me, thank <laughs> you. Um, so, yeah, that was a little frustrating because both my brothers are super smart, really funny, like charming guys. Yeah. So people are just drawn to them. I'm more of the, like, if I don't talk to people, they don't want to talk to me because I've got, like, this resting face of... <laughs> frustration it looks, and Yeah, intensity. it looks anger. It's intense, I think, yeah, intensity. Yeah, intense. So, yeah. 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 So you're kind of getting through volleyball, going through high school, and obviously seeing some success. What, but also knowing that you're five eight. What I know we've kind of talked about this, but what does your recruiting process look like? Like, did it go quick? How did you get and and how did you get introduced to Coach Watson and Arkansas? Yeah. So, yeah. So my recruiting process. I only visited two schools. Wow. Um, this was the second school and. They gave me, like, I want to say, they gave me about a month. And my mom was like, that's plenty of time. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> like, you know, I don't know. And I didn't know if I was going to visit more schools or not. But um, the most important thing to me 
that has always been, whether it's club or going to college, um, is having a coach that believes in you. My freshman year, I had an amazing coach. I love him so much. Um, and he was really the first person who said, you can, you can do this. You can play college volleyball. Whereas, and I was on a two team. Like, yeah. And he was like, no, you're, you will play college volleyball. And at that point in time, he was the only person saying that where everyone else was like, no, yeah. not giving me the time of day, whatever, which is fine because it led to me being angry and <laughs> wanting that. But um, yeah, so having a coach that believes in me and will just kind of let me do me because um, I'm super intense and I don't always come off the right way has always been the most important part. So. I think in the recruiting process, you know, I had this one school reach out, um, wonderful school. I probably would have gone for academics, but the volleyball program was just not what I wanted it to be. Like, it was a smaller school, um, but I've always wanted to go as big as possible while still being at my height. And I, uh, when I talked to Coach Watson, um, I was like, I don't want to be a DS because a lot of people will lure you in. Oh yeah, you know, you'll play outside maybe. <laughs> and I just don't want to be a DS. I think that takes away so much of my game. You know, there's so many times where I'm like, I want to be in the front row in this situation. I can't be in the front row. So that would just drive me insane. Um, but with Coach Watson, yeah, his assistant coach at the time, like our first tournament of 16's year, his assistant coach at the time gave me a card, or gave my coach a card. Um, and I was like, oh yeah, Arkansas, like that'd be cool. Um, but I really didn't think too much into it because it was a bigger school and mm -hmm. I don't know, it just didn't seem possible at the time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that happened and then Coach Watson came down to uh, one of our tournaments. It was Power League. Mm -hmm. And I saw him sitting in the bleachers, and my coach, Dave, he goes, Gillen, come here. He goes, you know that Arkansas guy is here watching you, right? I said, yes. <laughs> he goes, okay, let's go have a fun day. Ooh. So, like, that just, you know, yeah. and that always amps me up, so I'm like, okay. Um, but I think coming here, it was really that belief, like coach told me straight up, we're not going to make you a DS. And it's hard, and he's, he's talked to me about this, like it's hard to know if coaches are just luring you in with that, yeah, you'll play outside, mm -hmm. but not really. And, you know, there's times where you're like, man, they really could change me to a DS, but again, I just think that takes away so much of my game and so much intensity so yeah, and, and I you think you felt like Coach Jason really, uh, from the get go, was that's not happening here. Like, what made yeah. you believe in Coach Jason? Co Coach Jason so quickly. I don't know. <laughs> like, I, I just think the vibe he gave off the entire visit. You know, yeah. I, I just I didn't give I didn't feel any animosity or malintent. So it just felt really yeah, good. Genuine. Um, yeah, genuine. Yeah. So, yeah, and I think maybe his belief sparked others mm. because after I committed, I got a lot more interest. Mm. But at the same time, it was like, well, he saw it first. <laughs> he knows, like, who are you coming up last minute and trying to, yeah. you know, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. That's just, I like it. I think yeah. that shows how committed you are. Yeah. I think uh, it would be easy for uh, an athlete to start to get interest and be like, oh, well, wait a second, let me pause and think about these options. But the fact that you were like, no, he was interested in me and believed in me, I think says a lot about who yeah. you are as a person. Um, so you've clearly had a lot of success here um, and, and throughout your journey, you've had a lot of success. But what in the last year has made, a year and a half, I guess, has made this experience so special? Like, what is it about Arkansas that you got here and you're like, okay, this is, this is a special place for me and this is, this is where I'm going to really grow and become the greatest player that I can possibly be. Yeah, um, there's 
so many things. Um, we have a wonderful academic department and academics are very important to me. Um, if I have trouble, I know I can just text Misha and she'll get me a tutor or they'll set something up for me. So that's, that was really important to me on my visit here for sure. Because um, you're going into business, is that right? Yes, business and communication. Okay. So, um, but originally I was going to do international business, okay. but I just can't <laughs> speak foreign languages that well. So, right. um, but yeah, that was super important to me. The Jones Center, obviously, being able to feed athletes, even during a time like this, like through the to-go window, that's a lot. That's a lot of work, but they're committed to do that. So, they really care about us which is super important to me, and um, yeah, and obviously with an arena like Barnhill, you know, it's, it's us and we share it in the winter, but it's our home, it's our own home, we don't have to share it with four other sports, so yeah. that's really cool as well. Well, Jill, you are um, special. I'm so grateful that I get to coach with you, um, or coach, coach you. Um, I think you, your work ethic, um, your love for the game, um, your desire to want to learn and grow is exactly what Arkansas Volleyball, Razorback Volleyball is all about and what we want to, we want other athletes to see that and, and we, that's what we want our culture to be. So I think we're just, we're grateful for you and uh, yeah, I'm glad that people got to maybe see a little side of Jill <laughs> that they didn't know about maybe, or maybe they did know about, so. <laughs> Probably not. <Yeah. laughs> all right, that's a wrap. Cut.